This is George from MCHRV Products. Today we're uh, looking at the uh, telescopic ladder, which extends out to 3.2 metres. As easy as that. And uh, shrinks down to 87 centimetres. So it's really good for caravanners that uh, are really concerned about space and weight. So it collapses down to 87 centimetres. Like so. And you pick it up and you move it away. So it's great for caravanners, it's great for getting on top of the roof. You want to clean the solar panels, check the area, or just give the roof a bit of a clean. Uh, it'll support 150 kilos and it weighs nine. So it's got a really good power to weight ratio. And the beauty of this one is you can adjust it to any height you want. So if you don't want to go on top of the van, you just want to go halfway up and wash it, well, you can just use that much. So there you go, and also the other one of the great other great features is once you get on top of the van and you want to do some work such as tying on your kayaks and you can't get uh, around to tie them on, then you can drop down the first two rungs and you can get over the top rather than having to try and go around. So that's one of the great features of this one. Each one of these is individually uh, got locks. So if you press one lock, it won't come down. You have to press both for it to come down. So that's one of the safety features in using it. And it's ready to go. So that's the telescopic ladder and um, that's it in a nutshell. You can get more information on our webpage, www.mchrv.com. These are the lumbar supports. They actually take the pressure off your lower lumbar. So when you're sitting for a long period of time, say in the car, on the couch at home, in the office, they absolutely take that pressure off your lower lumbar, the L3, 4 and 5, which makes life much more comfortable. So this is the lumbar support. It's got a sprung steel frame. You can also just sit it on the chair without the strap, so you're not limited to a single chair. You can also tip it up that way for upper body support, which is also nice if you're just wanting to sit a bit more upright and forward. So for instance, it just sits you a bit more upright and forward if you're working on the computer, just wanting to sit there and read for instance. And with the lower lumbar, you'll see my back has got the curvature without it. If I put it in, you can see that my spine is nice and straight and it's taking that pressure off my lower lumbar. I sometimes use it at home. When I'm sitting on the couch at home, if I've had a really hectic day, my back's just a bit sore, I might put my hot water bottle or my wheat bag in behind and it holds the heat against your back. The reason for people having sickies is mostly because of back problems. So these are absolutely perfect at the office, as I said, in the car. Not only do they take the pressure off your lower lumbar, but they give that nice flow through and you don't get the sweaty back when you're on a long trip. You can turn it up that way for upper body support, which gives you that nice forward sitting position if you're on the computer, sitting there reading, for instance. We have the stubby holders for the wine lover. They're made of the neoprene wetsuit material. Just stretches over the base of your glass. They are completely reversible, black on the inside, machine washable. Stops that condensation dripping down. On a hot day, if you like your wine icy cold, you can run it under the tap, put it in the freezer, it comes out like an ice block on the outside of your glass, so that's very refreshing at happy hour. And as I said, they do fit the different size glasses. We have quite a range of different colours. And with the bottle cooler, you can use that for your water, wine, long neck beer bottle, champagne, it's absolutely ideal if you're going to the beach. It acts like a mini esky, so you can just sit back, nestle it into the sand, enjoy your wine, and enjoy the serenity at the same time while you're having a lovely cold wine. You can have a look at them, the different color range on our website, www.mchrv.com.
Hi, my name's George. Um, this is um, MCH RV Products, and today we're going to go through our range of solar panels, which we focus primarily on the 80 watt and the 120 watt, because those are really the sweet spots for um, most caravan and motorhome requirements. And really, these these solar panels we got a plug and play. Um, you just need uh, you get a five meter cable with a panel, and it just clamps straight onto your battery. And uh, all you got to do is take the solar panel point in the direction of the sun and it's starting to charge your battery. Now the ones we have got are the mono crystalline, they are the, the latest technology. The mono stands for one panel of silicon and uh, that's the 120 watt down there and the 80 watts up here. So really in terms of uh, what your requirements are, you have to work out what you're going to use in terms of TV, computer, LED lights um, and fridge. And once you know what your requirements are then you can work out what's the best panel for you. And then you've got to start working out battery requirements in terms of usually you probably need two batteries um, as a backup for those days where it's overcast or it's raining and then that'll cover you for the days where you don't have any sunlight. Now the part of the, the process is um, attaching your solar panel to the battery and then to get the power out of it you use, uh, we've used clamps here uh, which are got uh, supporting the LED lights there. You can see if I take that off the LED lights are off. So the solar panel is charging the battery and the battery is, is, is running the, the solar lights there. So 80 watts will probably put in about uh, 6 amps an hour and then you've got to work out the LEDs. These ones for instance take out 0.7 of an amp an hour. So they're very efficient, much more efficient than halogen lights. Uh, and then you've got to use something like a Waco or an Engel fridge. They are really designed for solar panels. They use at a maximum two and a half amps an hour, um, but on average probably one and a half amps an hour. And you've got to work it out based on the fact of how many, um, the fridge is really going to be working hard during the day. At night time it'll start to wind down. So if it's using one and a half amps an hour, it'll probably use about one amp at night. And uh, really that's it. So once you work out what your requirements are, then we can tell you what's the best panel for you. But usually an 80 watt or a 120 watt will satisfy most people's requirements. You can either do it, we do it two ways. One, you can just actually put it on your, on your battery like that, or some caravans are fitted with an Anderson plug on the A-frame, and we can put an Anderson plug on that end there, so it's just plug and play straight into your A-frame on your caravan, and it's charging your battery straight away. For more information on uh, our solar panels and our other range of products, you can go to www.mchrv.com.